Resources extremely stingy. Difficulty spike way too fast and too much pay to win to advance on this game. Overall bad game to play. Hey all, how you doing today? CVMG coming back at you with a little bit more Demi and Saga and this game actually gave me a pretty good first impression yesterday so I do plan on continuing the series. You can see right here we got a big old pile of booty. I like to watch that shit accumulate. By the way, look at my team. Hold on. I have actually theory crafted the best SR team in the world. I got Noah, right? Obviously, because she has the super duper heals. I got Remy because anybody that puts additional units on the battlefield for the enemy to have to deal with, that's amazing. Obviously gonna be on the team. Florio is a no brainer. This is going to be our attack buffing, attack speed buffing, attack breaking support. I got the rock guy because he looks freaking sick. And he also actually comes with a defense break. So that's very useful. And finally, Finally, the unit that I've set as my carry to help push me through the entire campaign, I'm using Chen because I've already got like seven duplicates, so I've already been able to promote her to SSR, but she's just damaged. I can show you how they perform in battle. I've saved this 210 boss for whenever you guys got here. I like to use this four in front, one in back formation because it gives the person in back 20% extra energy regen and if I have that on my healer or a support, that means I get my heals out faster. Defense is the best offense, offense is the best defense. It's just really situational and categorical. Look, whenever they all go to use their abilities at once, it's just a total destruction fest. And there you go, that's chapter two. Now, I'm actually not going to end it right here because uh, I would like the video to be longer than two minutes, but we actually have unlocked a few other functions since yesterday, so let's go ahead and check those out. The most important things being this Tower of Trials. This is gonna be like your Tower of Ascension on Summoner's War, but they limit you to 10 floors per day. So if you want, you could just sit here and auto battle through all of the floors and it'll just auto progress for you. But also, there's a limit to what you can accomplish with this. All right, and I'm not going to sit here and progress through every single stage. I just thought I would show that off to you. Oh, we only have to clear one more stage to unlock that feature. Shit, dude, there's two features that we can unlock from clearing chapter three. I guess that's all the reason to subscribe. Go digging through the mail. Give me some goodie prizes. That is a absolute shit ton of diamonds. Where did these come from? Hello. Okay, we're going to do a recruitment. They just gave us a lot of gems. Let's do time since summon. Ooh, give me a, a couple copies of the rock guy so that I could promote him. That's what I'm looking to do. Why you always got to give me the rare? Dude, I swear to God, this is like my fourth rare character. I'm not trying to get that many. Jasmine. Let's see who we, who we got. Yay, she looks really good. I wish that I could use her. We got the quick battle here. I like to do it for free because it's only two hours. In some of these games, they give you 24 hours. I think Mythic Heroes gave you 48, so 30 gems for two hours. I mean, I don't really give a shit about two hours worth of idol rewards, to be honest. 500 hero shards just for a login event is nice. We also got a couple more gems. It's always fun whenever you first start these idle games and then these events are just constantly going. Usually this shit dries up after like a month, but right now I'm just gonna enjoy it while I can. Give me all of the stuff. Yeah, I want all of that. What's in my storage? We got those shards. Let's see if we could get the rock guy. Come on, let's do it. God damn, I am just not getting very lucky with the rock guy. This is what we have under the crew section here. This little achievement area, which I mean, it's pretty cool. I haven't really dabbled in it too much yet. Team composition, you get to save a bunch of different comps and level them up. You get to level up like the formation stats and stuff like that. Next is the ascension. That's where you're going to take dupes and then you use dupes to ascend the star level. Higher star level means more stats. And then finally, we have the dismiss where you're able to get rid of all of your low tier characters. We don't get guilds to level five, but I'm gonna be honest with you. If you can't tell, I've been taking this pretty slowly. I'm actually, since we only have to beat three one to unlock whatever that next function is, I'm just gonna knock that one out and then we can do the three seven one later. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, they just got straight up fucking dissipated. Okay, that's three one done and we have now unlocked map fragments. Let's go check that out. We found the blah, blah, blah. Go click the buttons and go to where we tell you to do because anytime you unlock a thing, you're gonna have to do a tutorial about it. Treasure map. Ooh, map fragment. Ooh, 
what did we unlock? Gathering all nine map fragments unlocks a new adventure. Seeing as we've completed the map, let's set out to find some treasure. I don't even know what you're talking about. What map? Select which hero you're going to send to find the treasure. Obviously. The strong one, right? And start. Was I supposed to select more than one? She, she can handle it by herself. It'll be okay. She's uh, OP. The key to the secret room is hidden somewhere. Oh my God, this is Disney Mirrorverse Dungeons, dude. This is not anything new. I guess I can't complain, dude. Content is content. I mean, they could not have it. In which case, I mean, I guess that would suck because it would be less to do. So I don't know why I'm complaining. Every time I move, they move and it's so annoying because I'm not gonna fight anybody. So, if, I, I mean, I guess. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, I'm so smart. I'm so good at this. I'm almost to the X. If I move right here. Wait, why? Place where the ultimate treasure is hidden. However, it said it cannot be entered without the key. Shit, I have to find a key. Oh, I was supposed to pick more than one unit anyways. Wow, aren't you glad that we can make these, I, I can make these stupid mistakes for you so that you don't have to? Oh my God. I have to find a key. All right, let's go find a key. I didn't even get to save my energy from the last time. This dude's gonna run into me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Key! God damn it! Hello, I would like the fucking key, dude. Is it in the chest? Acquire dog shit? What if, what if this was auto? Hear me out, what if this was auto? And I didn't actually have to click anything. Ooh, you just fucking checkmated yourself. You can't follow me over here now. Stupid, got the key. Take me to the X. Get me out of here, dude. Ooh, I unlock a secret room. I have just enough stamina to get over there. Move here. Can't catch me, pussy. Are you sure you want to go to the final tile? Yes, I am, because I want this to be over with. If this had an auto function, I would gladly do it but I'm probably never doing this again. So, I mean, at least you got to see it. Yay! A literal loot box, dude. It's a gotcha game. We had to have a loot crate in it somewhere. Oh, uh, these look like they're going to get much more difficult over time. So anyways, yay, you got to see that. Maybe we'll revisit it in the future. Now, I think that's gonna do it for this episode, y'all. I showed you the features we unlocked in the game. I updated you on my team. And as far as what we can do now, really all that's left to do is progress in the story, which we could just do tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I will know to continue with this series. But other than that, y'all, that's gonna do it for me today. And I'll see y'all later, bye.